I call uh, Alistair Scott to Nakwe. To Nakwe, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, I rise in support of this very important piece of legislation. And today I wear a dark armband uh, for two reasons, Mr Speaker, in remembrance and acknowledgement of uh, the passing of my partner Robin's father uh, this af uh, last afternoon, John Calvert Noble Campbell, and the passing of all those who have died at work. We, the, the Labour Party are not the only party that remember those who have died at work. They're not the only party that are concerned about the health and safety of people at work, whether it's, whether it's deaths or long-term injuries. We're not the only, they're not the only party, sir, that is, is aware of the cost of these deaths and long-term injuries in the family, in the community uh, and, and across the country, sir. And we acknowledge that there are too many deaths in New Zealand and that is why this bill is before the House today. I would like to acknowledge uh, ge the general cooperation from the opposition and the select committee. Uh, and I'd also like to acknowledge at this stage uh, Mr Damien O'Connor, who brought his members' bill to the House in recent months, which related to the health and safety of uh, specifically uh, coal miners. And it's, it's very important, sir, that we all contribute to the health and safety of workers. Because, sir, we are all wanting the same thing. We all want our workers to be safe at work. Mr Speaker, she'll be right is not good enough. It is not right at all. Sweet as, sh no, that's, that's fine. I don't care too much about this or that. The attitude in New Zealand when it comes to health and safety is not up to scratch. And as a result, we have deaths and long-term injuries in our workplace. So it's the attitude that must change. The legislation alone will not change the behaviour in our workplace. You will remember, sir, I'm sure, right. the, uh, uh, the, we will all remember, sir, not long ago when seatbelts were brought in as being compulsory. You will, I, will, I remember, at least, sliding around the back seat of the car, despite the fact that seatbelts were compulsory, sliding around the back seat of the car, or even the front, front bench of the Holden Kingswood, sir, as mum and dad turned the corner. And it took many years for attitudes to change, despite legislation being in place at the time. It will never happen to me. It's never going to happen to anyone I know. She'll be right. Is not good enough. Mr Speaker, there are several myths regarding this legislation which I'd like to um, clear up. Most people talk about the need for common sense. They talk about, why can't we have common sense in this legislation? Why can't we have less rules and regulations in this legislation? Why can't we have the individual taking some responsibility for himself or herself in this legislation? Well, Mr Speaker, the legislation does all of those things. The framework is actually very simple. It is based on common sense. It demands reasonable, practical behaviour from all those involved, whether you're at the top of the pile as a director of a company or whether you're the lowest paid worker in the business. You are required to apply common sense, reasonable and practical behaviour. Because we're all responsible, Mr Speaker, for the health and safety of ourselves and the health and safety of our work colleagues. Mr Speaker, all we need to do is consider health and safety as we do our financial results in the case of a business owner. That is all we require. Mr Speaker, uh, there is a lot in this, uh, in this bill which is going to please a lot of people once they get their head around it. It's not difficult to understand. The, the farmers, the Minister has, has explained the issue around farmers giving access to their land to recreational users. That is a myth that has been busted. Volunteer groups are concerned and have been concerned. The Minister has busted that myth. Mr Speaker, my point is the bill is common sense. It will assist in uh, changing the attitudes of New Zealanders towards health and safety in the workplace, and I commend this bill to the House.